Hi, uh, my name is Aaron Kohler. I teach here in Drisha in, in various programs. And uh, this week we have the, the privilege of reading Parashat Emor. Uh, Emor begins with Emor al Kohanim, certain laws to the priests. Uh, but the, uh, the heart of the Parsha, the most, uh, the most prominent parak in the Parsha, is uh, chapter 23 in the book of Vayikra, which is the list, the description of the Moadim, the sacred times. Uh, and it begins with passages that are very, very famous. These are my fixed times, the Moadim, that you shall declare to be sacred. Uh, and mentions Shabbat and then moves on to what's essentially the calendar of the Amim Tovim uh, through the course of the Jewish year. Uh, now, of course, the calendar has changed in, in contemporary times, and uh, we just recently had uh, celebrated Yom Matzmut. Uh, there are other, other Chagim that have been added to reflect the, the changing world that we've lived in. Um, but these are, these are Moadim. These are sacred times that pop up sporadically over the course of the year, irregularly, uh, without any discernible pattern. Uh, but the year is marked by sacred, sacred times, marking sacred occasions. Perak Chavhei, chapter 25, which is technically next week's parasha, but I'm going to take the liberty of saying something about it, uh, Parashat Bihar, uh, also talks about uh, the structure of times. Here, not the structure of a year, but the structure of the cycle of years. The structure of the 50-year periods that includes the Shemitah, the sabbatical year, every seven years, and then the Yovel, the Jubilee year, every 50 years. Uh, so chapter 23 and chapter 25 both talk about how time passes and how it's marked periodically by sacred occasions within the year, and then every so often a sacred year uh, in its entirety. In the middle, though, chapter 24, the last chapter of Parashat Amor, of our Parashat this week, uh, shifts gears entirely and talks about sanctity that's not sporadic and irregular, but it is constant. Chapter 24 has a number of parts, but the beginning is broken up into two, two parts. First, uh, the priests, B'nai Aharon, have to take oil and light the menorah. And that, that menorah, Allah menorah, Torah, Yeruch et HaNerot, Lefnei Adonai Tamid. They should arrange that oil on the menorah, it should be in front of God always, Tamid. And then the second paragraph talks about the, what we call the Lechem Apanim. The 12 loaves of bread, which were actually matzah, matzah, that were in the Mishkan and in the Mikdash, tamid. And there's a, a machloket in the Gemara, in, in Menachot, as to whether tamid means literally. It must be there every second of every day. So when you have to switch the bread, you have to take off one loaf and put on the other loaf, sliding it across, that there should never be a moment without the lechem apanim in the Mikdash. Or whether it's okay to take it off in the morning and put, put the new loaves on in the evening. In other words, uh, a few hours is okay, but it has to be at a tamid as long as it's there uh, this day, but it has to be Tamid. And bracketed in between chapter 23 and chapter 25, 24 gives us a whole different sense of, of sanctity. There is a sense of sanctity which is irregular. We live our normal lives and every so often we mark a Mo'ed, we mark a sacred time. And you have to declare that sacred time. It's a Mikra'i Kodesh, declare it to be sacred. Every, normally we have our years, every so often there's a special year, the Shemitah year as we have now, there's a Yovel year which we should be zuchet to once again have. But there's another kind of sanctity. And those kinds of special sanctities can only work if in the middle there is tamid, kedusha. There's kedusha that's there always, perennially, marked every day by the regular lighting of the menorah in the morning, by the, uh, by the regular uh, placing, placement of the lechem apanim on a weekly basis, that every day one does something to mark this place, this time, as sacred. If our whole lives are marked by the, by the regularity of that sanctity, of the Shemen, of the Menorah, of the Lechem, uh, then, then we can uh, delight in also the, the irregular, sporadic Kedushot that are brought by the special days within the year and special years uh, in the cycle that we'll read next week in Pashat Behar. Shabbat Shalom.